Hello, today I'm looking at the Chicksafe Advanced Hen House door opener and specifically how that's programmed. I've got a unit here attached to our demonstration hen house. Um, it referred to our earlier videos on how to actually fit these. Uh, it's important to have it fitted and connected to your hen house door before you attempt to fit the batteries and program the features. Right, so you've attached your Chicksafe to your hen house and connected it to the the uh, sliding door, the next thing to do is to connect it to your battery. So four AA batteries in the battery holder. Connect that up so the chick safe's powered. The first thing it does is a little uh, jig to establish the open position of the or hen house door. The first question the display is asking you for is the language that you want to select. So English is the default but you have a choice of French and Spanish but I'm going to choose English and it's asking now to set the time so I'm going to select 10 o'clock which is the current time it's now asking to choose the day of the week so today is Tuesday select Tuesday press OK and that's now saved and this is the default dis display so it's telling me the time it's telling me the battery status and it will now go to sleep because as far as the chick safe is concerned it's operational and its default is to use light levels to open and close the door. So if I don't adjust anything else, then uh, the chick safe will open the door in the morning as the light level rises and close the door again in the evening as the light level drops. However, the advanced version has several timer functions that allow for more flexibility. So to set those up, I wake the display by pressing OK and press these two buttons to select the menu, the program menu. So the first thing is the open settings and at the moment it's set for time and we've got a choice of manual or light. If you leave it in the in the light setting then uh, it will open and close as I said before with daylight level. If you time setting it will it will open on the time that you set and manual it won't open or close unless you physically press the button so we're not going to do that we're going to choose time so press OK now it's asking to set what that opening time is and the default is 7 in the morning so that sounds about right to me I'm going to press OK I can choose minutes as well but I'll leave that the next question is the delay Monday to Friday now this means I can choose uh, to delay the opening time for those days we could have a delay of one or two hours, but let's set that back to zero hours. So Monday to Friday, it's going to open at seven in the morning. Press OK. Now we can choose a delay Saturday and Sunday. Now this is great because it means I can have a line on Saturday and Sunday. I'm quite lazy, so I'd like a two hour line. I can change that down to one hour, but let's leave that for two hours. So that means it's going to open on at nine o'clock on Saturday and Sunday. Now we move on to the closing times. So the default is light. We can choose time when it will open, it will close at the time we select. There is light plus time, and I'll come back to how that works. And then again, we've got manual, and that will only close when we press the down button to close the door. So I'm going to look at time. Press OK. And here we can set the close time. Now this one is set for 8 p.m. which is fine with me obviously I can change that uh, go up and down um, but 8 p.m. is ideal so I'm going to press OK and then accept OK for the minutes. Uh, this last screen is to set the light level um, this is a little bit arbitrary and I wouldn't worry too much about that you've got a cho choice between um, 0 and 249 uh, but it makes only a few minutes difference in terms of the actual time the door will open or close uh, so I'm just going to leave it at 240 so one of the close time options is light plus time what that means is that you can select a time which are, is our 8 o'clock close time but it will close before then if the light levels are dropped before 8 o'clock and then the last screen is to save changes and I'm going to say yes to save those changes so those are now saved we're back to the default screen and the chick safe is now going to open in the morning at 7 a.m. Monday to Friday and 9 o'clock Saturday Sunday and it will close again at 8 in the evening and obviously it's gone to sleep now to save battery 
but the red flashing light is there to indicate that um, it's uh, functioning normally. So the ChickSafe Advance has a manual override, so it's in its open position at the moment, but if for any reason I wanted to close the door, all you have to do is to hold down the close button, the down button for five seconds, and the ChickSafe will close the door for you. And that means that um, it will stay closed until the next time that it's programmed to reopen again. And vice versa, if the door is in its closed position and you need to open it any time, you can manually override by pressing the up button again for five seconds. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, you can visit the Brinsey website where we have uh, an FAQ page dedicated to the ChickSafe henhouse door openers uh, with lots more information uh, on setup and different options there uh, where you can contact Brinsey for further information. Thank you.